All right, guys. Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, it's a question of the day video type of video today. Is Tyson Fury going to get robbed if he does not KO Deontay Wilder? That's the question I have for my subscribers or anyone who happens to, you know, press on this video. Let me know in the comment section below of this video, please. Now, I'm not saying that Tyson Fury is going to 100% get robbed if it goes the distance. I'm just asking the question because the first time around, a lot of people felt that he got robbed in the scorecards. He got robbed in the fight, of the fight, basically, right? The fight turned out to be a draw. Many people felt that Tyson Fury did enough to win. Of course, there was there were people also that felt that Deontay Wilder actually knocked out Tyson Fury and that the referee basically gave it a long count. Like that's something I see a lot when it comes to, you know, uh, the Wilder, the Deontay Wilder fans defending, uh, you know, talking about that fact. They, they felt that the referee should have stopped the fight and he should have been counting out Tyson Fury. Um, a lot of people have been saying that. They feel the only way Tyson Fury will get a fair shake in this rematch will be if he KO'd Deontay Wilder. Um, I already told you, like, the problem I have with that is the fact that Tyson Fury is not really known as a puncher. And in order to knock somebody out, you have to be coming forward the whole time. Like, you would have to see Tyson Fury press pressing the action. You would have to be seeing him come marching forward uh because if he if he fought the way he fought the first time around he's not gonna knock out Deontay Wilder like that Deontay Wilder although people think that he don't he doesn't have a chin one thing Deontay Wilder does have is he has a lot of heart and he's tough uh, I've never seen Deontay Wilder give up in a fight I've never seen him quit on a fight um I think Deontay Wilder is a tough uh fighter when it comes to being in the ring I think he's mentally a tough guy some people might disagree with that, but I personally believe that he's a tough type of heavyweight. I think he's mentally tough, and I think it's going to take a lot to uh, break Deontay Wilder. So I think, like, I think Wilder's one of those guys that if he did get dropped, he'll get back up. He won't like stay down and then let the referee count him out like some fighters, had, you know, done in, in the past. I think he's one of those guys that will get up, and you would have to literally knock him out unconscious to. To basically knock him out, um, Fury would need to be very aggressive in that in that in this uh, rematch. I know that Fury is going around saying that he's a hundred percent gonna KO Deontay Wilder, and his team is saying that. But he said the same thing in the first fight. He said he was gonna knock him out. You know, he said I remember he was saying he was gonna knock out Vladimir Klitschko, and that was a snooze fest of a fight. Um, so I don't really buy into. When he's going around, you know, claiming that he's going to knock out Deontay Wilder, he's going to go for the KO. Um, he might just fight the exact same way he fought the first time around. And I I wouldn't blame him if he did that because he had a lot of success the first time around. Just fighting the style he fought the first time around gave Deontay Wilder uh, a lot of issues. So why would he change? But again, the question is, if it goes the distance, are they going to? not give Deontay Wilder, I mean, the uh, Tyson Fury the victory. <sighs> I, the, the problem I have with Deontay Wilder is he tends to, it's, it, it, it looks, it, it, it's as if it's very easy to outbox Deontay Wilder because he's been outboxed by a, a lot of heavyweights. Uh, he always manages to stop them uh, eventually, but there's been several times where he's, lo he's lost rounds because it's easy to outbox Deontay Wilder, but I'm pretty sure the boxing world still wants to see Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. And maybe some people feel that that's why they'll rob Fury if it goes the distance. Uh, I'm I'm talking like Wilder has no chance in winning rounds against Fury. But the thing is, like when it comes to Wilder, it's, it's, a proven, it's proven that it's difficult for him to compete with like good level boxers. Like he tends to lose rounds against them. So that's why... <laughs> I don't really see Wilder winning rounds when it comes to like if they're in a chess match. If it, if they're in a chess match, I don't see him winning rounds. 
I know I'm talking like Wilder can't win a single round when it comes to just boxing skills, but that just tends to be the case with Wilder. You know, normally when he's in there with a guy who's like, uh, when they're just like in the center of the ring and they're playing the chess match, he he tends to lose rounds. Uh, And he especially lost a lot of rounds like that against uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, A lot of people felt, feel that Fury might get robbed again. So he has to go for the KO. Maybe that's true. Maybe he he will get robbed again. I don't know. I I hope he doesn't. You know, I hope it's not another controversy. I I really hope that the, that this rematch is more conclusive, like the winner. You know, the first time it was just this whole thing. Like if Deontay Wilder were to KO uh, uh, Tyson Fury, I hope like he actually KOs him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or if Wilder loses every single round, like he did, like he did the first time. Well almost every single round like he did the first time. I hope, like, it's – they actually give it to Fury. Anyway, that's my question. Does he need a KO to beat Deontay Wilder? I'm not saying he does, but a lot of people feel that he does need a KO. Otherwise, they're going to give it to Deontay Wilder. I'm out. Thanks for listening, guys. Peace.